Newton's method of linear approximation sometimes is called Gauss-Newton method. And essentially what it is, is here you have, you're finding an x value on an axis, right? Well, how you, how you get to this x value is you have an initial guess, and sometimes that's referred to as x naught, um, subtract f of n uh, divided by f prime of n, or here's another way to look at it. You get to the second x value by taking the first x value, subtract f of x of the first value, f prime of the first value, and here are the steps. And visually, I'll end up showing you uh, what this looks like as well. So you, you need to choose the first guess, an x value. You need to find the derivative of the given function. Plug all of that info into the equation. And then repeat the steps until you get to, sometimes it's going to be four or five decimal places that you need, you need to be that close. So imagine, here's an x value, you're going to need, need to be very, very, very close to that, that x value. So let's walk through the process. So here we're given a function. y is equal to cosine x plus x cubed subtract 2. And they're telling you that for the first guess, you're going to use the number 1. So here's our first guess. x naught is 1. And the derivative of that function, the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x plus the derivative of x cubed, which is 3x squared. The derivative of negative 2 of a constant is 0. So there we have it. Now you're going to plug that information into the equation. Uh, the x value that you're looking for is equal to x naught subtract f of x naught divided by f prime of x naught. So let's go ahead and, so x naught is 1, subtract the function. So we could actually put in cosine of 1 plus 1 cubed minus 2 over the derivative, which is negative sine instead of x naught. We can go ahead and put 1 plus 3x squared, x naught squared. And instead of x naught, we're going to put 1. And then we're going to simplify that. So when we plug all of this stuff into a calculator, cosine 1 plus 1 cubed subtract 2, we get this value, negative 0 0.00015230. And then when we plug 1 into the derivative, we get 2.982547. And I hit store on my calculator. And really, you need to go out this, for, this far uh, to get the precise, preciseness that we're looking for. And then when you plug that stuff into the calculator, well, we are awfully close just with our first guess. Look at how close we are. That's tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousandths, five hundred thousandths, uh, within the first uh, places within the first guess. So again, the steps. Choose your first guess. Also go ahead and find the derivative of the function. Set up the equation. Uh, go ahead and plug in your first guess. And then look at what you have to do. Once you get your first guess, so here's x, x1. That's what x1 is equal to. Now you're going to plug that into the equation to find the second guess. And then once you find that, you're going to plug that. Sometimes you have to do this three or four times to get as close as you need to. Normally you don't get this close on the first guess where you'll have all of these zeros. That's what we're looking for. A bunch of zeros that are really close to that first guess. All right, that's it.